Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden and today we are going to work on another pair of fairy ears. Now I already have the blanks ma uh, made and uh, if you want to see how to do those you can check out my uh, previous video making fairy ears part one the base and that's how you make it so it is on a video so you can watch it if you wish to. But what we're going to do is we're going to put these beautiful filigree and this hummingbird on these. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the hummingbird some more. Even though it's patinaed, I like it to look more like a hummingbird. So we're going to get out our mat and our paints, and we're going to paint this humming, these hummingbirds. Got out some paint markers, and we just put our hummingbirds right here. Now, what we're going to do is, because the hummingbird is... got red here and white here and then it's more green we're going to actually I've got my fingernail polish out that's what I use for white the white paint markers do not like to stick I'm going to warn you that right off the bat in case you get paint markers and want to make something the um, white ones just will not stick with beads so the first thing I'm going to do is take this black one. Now these are either Morphone metallic markers or Sta metallic color pins. Um, they're, I think they're more or less made by the same company outright. It's just that they are marketed under a different name. So I'm going to take this black one and we're going to paint its beak. This is also a Sta, by the way. So paint the beak. Now I'm going to take the darker green and we're going to do the tops of the wings here. And the some of the outline on our feathers here. Do the same on this one, of course. So we just want to get our feathers, sort of getting a little definition to them here. And like I say, we will get our, we're going to get our lighter green out to um, add some more coloration to our wings here and to our body of our uh, hummingbird. Now I'm letting some of the patina come through because, well, it's not going to be a problem. It's just going to add a little extra color, so to speak. Come here, you. And now the body of the hummingbird and the top of its head. Now I will warn you that the red paint and the white will m mix together if you don't let the one dry before you put the other on. And that's actually probably true of the green too, but it's usually pretty dry by the time I get the other colors on here, so um, I've never really noticed it too much. So now the white is the body part. Um, it's like a little um, white breast and then uh, the red will be um, the neck so I'm going to paint the white right now just like I said it's the body part right here just the breast part of our of our hummingbird and we'll lean it aside here So, 
And we also want to take a tiny dab of Sharpie and get his eye. Oh, that may be a little too much there. Okay, that's better. Okay. Now we're gonna have to let it dry for a little while before we add the red because like I said, if the fingernail polish is not relatively dry by the time we add the red on, it will um, try to blend in with the, with the white. And we'll have little pink splotches on his breast. So we'll just let these sit for just a few until the fingernail polish dries some. And then we will add our red. Now, this is a relatively wide pin, so it's sort of hard to get this on here, down in the curve. But, and I'm not trying to even get down in the curve right yet. Want that white to dry just a little bit more before I try that. Okay, even though it's still a bit wet, it is getting uh, drier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna try and get my red right here underneath his cheek a little bit here. Now, sometimes you can't get in there without getting your red all messed up or your white, one or the other. I got a little in where the white is at here but I don't think it's that much of an issue. Same with this, as you can see, I have a little bit of red on our white, and that's all right, I think. I think we'll be good here. So now these are finished being painted, and I need to take them into the other room this one doesn't look quite the same as far as the white is concerned. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. Just right down at the base of his. Body there. And I think we have a little bit more red on him here than the other, but I'm not going to worry about it too much because if I worry about it too much, I may end up um, spreading the red too much and making it be sort of pink. We don't want to do that. There we go. So I think we're as good as we're going to get as far as our painting is concerned. So I'm going to take them out and spray them with some Krylon paint to um, seal them up some. So we'll do that and then we'll be back to finish putting them together. Okay, I have got my hummingbirds back in now. They have pretty much dried. They're still teeny but damp, but not too bad. And what we're going to do with these is we're going to take this medallion piece and we're going to wire wrap it up into here. Then we're going to hook the hummingbirds by their little circles there, right below it, or right, maybe not even below it, maybe just beside it somewhat, like so, inside of our blank. And then, if we wish, we will put a few crystals down either side. Now I've decided if I put crystals in, what color I'm going to make them. I think red actually might be best because we have the red here, but we'll decide when we get to that point. So what we need to do to start 
is to get some of our 24 gauge wire out. And I'm going to get a relatively long piece, at least say a this is a little over a foot probably. So um, I may not need this much, but if I need it, I want it. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to start at the very top up here. So I'm going to bring this up here and we're going to go through this loop right here and I'm going to take it at least halfway up here, maybe a little bit more than halfway because what I'm going to do now is we're going to take and take this wire Come on, you go up there where you belong. And we're going to wrap it around right here. Then the next one will go through here. And we're going to just come and we're going to wrap down this side with this piece of the wire. Now this is trying to go up that way. I don't want it there, so we'll pull it over here some. And we're just gonna go down here a few more times through this loop here still. Tighten it up and then we'll go through the little one right here. Whoop, not you, the little one. There we go. Now we're going to go up and over this loop a couple of times um, with this wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to just make some decorative wire wrapping here. So just one. Come on you, all the way. There we go. And this went down a little lower than I wanted it, but that's all right. We'll just move it up. We're going to keep wrapping around here. Until we get over to the other side and start wrapping in this uh, the other side of our little medallion. You need to go down, not that high up. There we go. So push it down if you need to. Now we're going to start wrapping through the medallion again, just like we did on the other side. So through this little slot here, pull it up. Now we want it to move a little bit over there, so we're going because we're going to go through our out of the way baby this piece here the three times we did the other side come on through
Oops, not that low. Through that slot. There we go. One more time through here and then through that little uh, loop right here. Now on this side we're close enough, and we are on this side too for that matter, to bring it in to this other loop down below here, which we will do. Tighten it up a little bit. We'll go back to this side, and we've got a lot more wire over here than I anticipated, but that's all right. Move up there. Now is where our hummingbird will come into play because he goes right here at the base of our medallion. So what we need to do is take our wire, bring it down one about one loop worth so it's down here further on the bar. we've made a sort of decorative loop that way. Now we've got our hummingbird right here. And we will bring it through our hummingbird loops. Once. And I'm going to do it twice because it's there at the end and it needs a little bit more stability. So now we'll go through the other one here on this side. Once. And twice. Come on, go through our hummingbird's loop here. There we go. Now, at this point, I'm getting short on this side of wire, so if I need to, I can always take my pliers and pull. So here is our hummingbird. Now, as you can see, it's leaning backwards a little bit, so we want to do some a little bit adjusting. And it needs to go up on top of the medallion, just a hair's breadth like so. This one could go up a little bit so that it's sitting closer there. So there's our hummingbird sitting with our medallion. Now what we need to do is, because this is the end of our wire here, we're going to do some loops here so we can finish it up. And then we'll do the loops on this side as well. Now there's enough wire on here, I could put some crystals down the side with this wire. 
though I'm not sure I'd have enough to go all the way down as far as I'd want to. So right now I'm going to cut it off, the wire off, and tuck it in. And then we'll work on the second one and decide um, if we do want to put crystals on. And if so, what color do we want to use? So let's get our pliers, both our regular ones. So we can tuck this wire in good here. have our uh, nylon jaw ones to squish our wires into place good here. So there is this side done unless until unless we want decide to add jewels. So now we'll do the second side exactly the same. Get out some wire, put this on here like so, and then add our hummingbird to the bottom. So we're getting the wire out. Got to find my end. I cut it, so I'm not sure where it's at. There we go. So again, we're going to take this wire and we're going to go through this little loop here. Bing. And we're going to go at least halfway, maybe a little more than halfway to the other side up there. And this one is going to start our wrap right here at our top. This wire needs to go underneath rather than above. Okay, like so. And then we want it to go like so. So we want to hold this while we go around with this one. And then go through this loop here. One. Come on, you Three. Oop. Now through the little one. See, we did go through this this last one, didn't we? Yes, twice. Oop, kinked up on us here. Now we'll pull this one to the side here, and we're going to go over and do the other side here. So we'll go up here where this wires come through here, and we're going to go and do the decorative wiring around the top here. I think we had two on either side, if I remember right. Two or three. Come on, you.
if I'm going off camera, I apologize. I, uh, the wire is, of course, bumping into things, so. Down a ways, okay. Now I think we're at that point where we're gonna go through this loop here. Three on this one. Two to small, and now through this next one twice. Now see how this is compared to our other one. Looks pretty good. Now we have to put our hummingbird on. And boy, I have more, a lot more wire this time around. I could have just wired crystals on with this one. Oh yeah, we need to make the one decorative loop before we put our hummingbird on. Put our hummingbird on right here with one, two loops. One. Get back up here, baby. Oh, I see. I did you the wrong way, didn't I? Come here. Come back out. This should have come in through this direction. in up there hummingbird there we go that's better one That will go around three times. I don't want three. So we got to go back out from the hummingbird. And then we're going to do the four loops right here. One, two, three, and... Nope, nope. One more. There we go, that side's done. So now we've got to put on our hummingbird on this side. So we go through one. That doesn't look like that tightened, there we go. Through two. And then we have four loops around our wire here. Oops, let go of the other one. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. So oh, there we go. There's our two hummingbirds. This one looks to be a little higher than this one is. So we'll see if we can wiggle it down just a hair's breadth. That's better. 
and now I could have a choice. I can cut these wires off or I can use them to put on some jewels. Now, if I use them to put on some jewels, because they are long enough, this one has got no wire stuck to it, so we'll have to add wire to that. So, because then we have to have two or three loops to add wire, we're going to add another two or three loops right here so that it will look the same when we add our um, jewels to the other side. One, two, and three. Now it's either got to be some red. I don't think I want to put green on. I could put red. Just put like, like four or five down either side. Or some clear. But let's go see if I can find some red. Okay, I have found some red beads. We will put some of them out. And we will see about doing a little wire wrapping of the red beads down the side here. I don't think I have enough wire to go all the way to the end, so maybe I should have started with a new wire, but I'm just going to put what we can here, and then we will stop. Now I'd like to put five, but we're only going to get four because my wire's running out. I don't have enough to do um, another one plus do the wraps to end it. So we're going to do our wraps right here. And we're just going to put those four down the side here uh, to um, add some pretty color to our to our uh, sides. So I'm going to bring this back over here because we're going to put this next bead on here. And then and we hold it. Because this is going to go on this side, we hold it, bring it around, bring it over, and then we put our next one on. Now, as you can see, I'm putting a pretty big gap between the two uh, between the beads, and that's fine. Um, that's a preference. That's a choice thing. You can add less room or more room, depending on how it works for you. I'm adding less room, I mean putting the more room between the two because I want, come on baby, where's your hole? There we go. I want them to go down further and I don't have the wire for them to go down a really long way. So um, this works. Now we've got we're at the bottom here, so we've got to do our four wraps here. Okay. 
Now this is trying to wrap over its buddy down below it, so we don't want it to do that. So we have to get it out of that spot. Come on, you. We don't want you wrapping where you're wrapping. There we go. Let's push you guys up some. Pushed it up too far because now that's bumping into the bead and I don't want it doing that. So we'll push it back down a little ways here. And one more wrap. If I can get it to do it, it should. There's plenty of room, and I mean plenty of wire. But if you need to, you get low on wire and you have, you can't grab it, just take your pliers and do it that way. So now these two wires are ready to be trimmed and uh, tucked. So we'll trim this one. Careful not to grab, get the wire of your base when you do that. Same with this side. And we'll tuck them in. Now that I have this one done, I'm probably going to cut a little bit more wire for the two on the other side, but um, See, the little bit of red did add a little bit to our uh, hummingbird, obviously. So that's pretty. Now the hummingbird can move some because he's only got those two wires. And um, he doesn't have any more holes, So, or I would try and uh, wire wrap him right here. But I don't want to punch holes in him either, so he's going to just be just like that. So this one is finished. And now we'll get some wire out and we'll add it to this side to add, to put our beads on. Now that's why I said where I did some extra wraps here so that it would look the same when I wrap some wire up here to add the jewels in. So I've got this wire here and what we're going to do, like I said, is go in here and wrap well, I don't need that much of a tail there. Wrap two or three times here. Then we'll push this up so that now it sort of resembles what the one on this side looks like. So we can even do one more, I think, to put our red bead, our first red bead on. Now it is going to slide some if, uh, if it feels like it. So hopefully it will. See it slid down right there a little bit. Hopefully by the time I have all the wraps put in, it will have stopped doing that. So one and two. And remember we're giving a pretty wide uh loops there because of only wanting four beads. Come on, where's your hole? There we go. So here's bead number two. One, the tight one, and the walking one that goes down to the other side. One and two. And here is our last red crystal on this side. Oh, come on, you. There we go. And one and two. Oops, he walked. We don't want that. Come here, you. Now that we have that on, now we need to do 
our wraps down here at the bottom. So let's see, you guys are wiggling a little bit, but I can probably work with you. So we do four wraps here. Squish them together with my thumbnails. Push these up here some. Get these spread a little bit so they look resemble the other side more. And there is this side done. So then we'll cut this wire off right here. Not much different size than that size, is it? Just a little bit more. Hopefully it's enough, because I really don't want it to get another wire out, if I can help it. So we'll wrap it over here. Oop, come here, you. Now I want this wire over this way. It's trying to curl this direction. I don't want it there. So we want one two and I think we'll put three in and go push it up so they're all up here together now I've got this sort of I want this right here so I need to pull it into place push these up and it wants to slide down but we'll work work with that as when we get to that spot now we want our first red bead on. Over there. Bring this over, tighten it, bring it down, and then our next red bead will go on. Wiggle it around to this side because it's trying to escape. Move it, tighten it over and around. Up you go. Now we have our next red bead. Bring it over to this side. Hold it, hold it tight, bring this over tight, bring it around. And now for our last one, which is a good thing because I think we're almost out of wire. So in with our last bead, bring it around to this side, bring our wire over nice and tight, and then over, and then we want our four reps. Two. three, and four, just enough wire. Now, if we need to, we can spread it out just a little bit. It actually looks pretty good. So now we need to trim those little pieces of wire off. That's on either side here, this one here, and well, there's one here too, as well as up at the top because of where we. So now we want to push those wires down. Now this one's going to be right by your ear, so you want it to go down good there. Now we need to trim these off. And tuck them in. Okay. 
So there is our earring. Well, it's not an earring, it's a fairy ear. We're gonna take again and squish here and here where these wires are holding on because we want them to stay put. And then we'll of course put do a little bit along the edge here. And there we are, number one. Again, we're going to squish a little bit along the edge here. Though this one doesn't need it as much because it's the one I used the one piece of wire for the whole thing instead of having to um, add. So there we are. I think this one spread a little bit when I squished it. So here, here is our fairy ears. Aren't those pretty? So now we'll put this piece of these little red crystals, the rest of them away, so we don't lose them. And I think the red crystals were a good, uh, good move. I think they work much better than like green or something else would have. But there we go, all done. So there we go, there is our next pair of fairy ears. Except for I got them backwards because this one would be on this side and this one would be on this side. So like, let's see if we can put one on the back piece. There we go. Pull it down over my ear and it sits like so. This little piece right here, the, the back loop back here, and this here, our dragon, our uh, hummingbird goes over our ear like so. Isn't that pretty? Of course, then the other one would be, because they're, they're a set. You have to have two ears. <laughs> so there we go again. There it is up close. This is where your goes at the front of your ear, back of your ear, and then on your earlobe. Aren't those pretty? Hope you enjoyed making those with me. This has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.